hath understanding reckon the number of the beast, for it is a human number. Its number is 666. Welcome to The Man in the Middle. I am your host, Bill West. Today we're celebrating the 40th anniversary of probably one of the best uh, not only Iron Maiden albums, but uh, heavy metal albums of all time. That's uh, Iron Maiden's Number of the Beast, released this date, 1982. I haven't opened this, and, uh, you know, it's in my collection. I've been wa waiting. I don't know why, but uh, here we go. 1982 was uh, March 22nd. 1982 was the release date for this album. I will uh, honestly say that I wasn't there. Uh, my, I was just be taking my first steps into heavy metal at that time, and Iron Maiden wasn't really on my uh, uh, on my list as of yet. I had listened to uh, Judas Priest, Black Sabbath, uh, Sammy Hagar. Uh, well, like I said, not too much Iron Maiden at the time. I remember passing by the local record store, uh, Midnight Records, in uh, Porterville, California. Uh, they don't exist anymore. Ooh, this is an... Uh, I love this. is nice and heavy vinyl. You know, nothing really right home of... Oh, that's cool. Uh, and they used to uh, paint. Uh, they had big, big picture windows. And they would paint uh, new, new album releases. And uh, this was one of the ones that they painted. And, you know, this it was really, uh, like I said, I wasn't into Iron Maiden so much then. You know, Kiss, uh, Judas Priest, Black Sabbath. It wasn't until uh, a couple years later, I think it was Power Slave was the first time I really paid any attention. But... 40 years of Iron Maiden, oh, you know, actually longer than that, but 40 years of the number of the beast. You know, I, I've always loved this album. You know, I didn't hear it, like I said, I didn't hear it at the time, but since I've heard it, or since I first heard it, I've had it on cassette, I've had it on uh, vinyl, digital download. I have, where is he? You probably won't see it from here. Yeah, I have a Number of the Beast Bobble, or he's, yeah, he's right there. A pop of Eddie from the album cover. Uh, for those of you who might not know, if you're, <laughs> this is uh, the first album with Bruce Dickinson. Paul Diano uh, had some problems and he left the group in 80 or 81, and Bruce Dickinson joined. And this is the first Bruce Dickinson album. It had Bruce Dickinson on vocals, Dave Murray on lead guitar, Adrian Smith on lead guitar, Steve Harris on bass guitar, and Clive Burr on drums. Tracks were Invaders, Children of the Dam, The Prisoner, 22 Acacia Avenue, uh, Number of the Beast, Run to the Hills, Gangland, and Hallowed Be Thy Name. And here's the, you know, the back of the album. And on the little corner here, it's got the Bible verse. Woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil sends the beast with wrath, because he knows the time is short. Let, let him who hath understanding reckon the number of the beast, for it is a human number. Its number is 666. Revelations chapter 13, verse 18. I, I, I'm going to admit, like, uh, when I first heard it, I didn't pay, uh, or when, when it came out, I didn't pay attention to it when I first heard it. Seriously, I, I just couldn't get enough of it. I can't remember when that was. But, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, invaders. I'm, I'm not sure there's a bad cut on this. Uh, uh, maybe Gangland. But Invaders, Children of the Dam, The Prisoner, 22 Acacia Avenue. Uh, my favorite is the title track number, The Beast. And then Run to the Hills. Uh, Gangland and Hallowed Be Thy Name. Gangland's not a bad song, but of all the cuts on here, it's probably not the best. And, 
you know, this is, it's, it's well, it's, it's, well, it's a great album. It's not my favorite Iron Maiden album. It's, you know, it's up there. <laughs> I know a lot of people say it's the best Iron Maiden album. Uh, some people say it's, you know, probably one of the best heavy metal albums. I, I, I will agree with that. Uh, but my favorite is, I think, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. I love uh, Moonchild, uh, Evil That Men Do, Only the Good Die Young. You know, I think that was probably one of my favorite. Uh, Only the Good Die Young is probably one of my favorite Iron Man tracks of all time. All right, like I said, 40 years. 40, my gosh, I hadn't even... Uh, graduated high school at the time I think it was yeah I graduated June 82 that's a long time ago <laughs> uh, coming up for me was I believe uh, later that year was Judas Priest's uh, Screaming for Vengeance uh, Asia I remember the first Asia album came out that year I love that album uh, I'm trying to remember. I don't, uh, so long ago. <laughs> but you're not here to listen to me reminisce. Uh, congratulations, Iron Maiden. You know, for, you know, 40 years of probably one of your best albums. You guys take care. I'm Bill. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me that thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You know, it, it'll help me defeat the algorithm. You guys take care. I will talk to you again soon. Bye.